hello and welcome everyone and welcome back to world warship today we have a very good looking ship and in the next patch i kind of uh, feel that she will be a little bit better because all tier 9 and tier 10 cruiser will be buffed in two different ways and uh, she kind of uh, benefits this ship a lot and what is going on is that when you're gonna have your concealment module i'm talking the module of tier 9 and tier 10 then you also receive plus five percent from enemy dispersion wh when they try to shoot at your ship which basically means if you have the right camo you purchase the camo they'll give you plus four percent and the module gives you plus five altogether plus nine percent dispersion which basically means which is a good change for all tier 9 and tier 10 cruiser because no more sniping and hitting from 18 or 20 kilometers away from battleship that chance it's a uh, slightly uh, worse than you gonna citadel and nuke a uh, poor cruiser from that kind of range you kind of need to have a whole lot closer for the dispersion to not be that great i do believe it's a welcome change now i also like to see for war gaming they buff the rudder shift from minus uh, 20 percent uh, to maybe double that to make the cruiser survive more because let's face it if you're tier uh, 9 or especially tier 10 a battleship you're facing and see a cruiser you see her like um, snacks or you know what i'm trying to say you you will do a lot of damage doesn't matter angle and so on especially if you're in kurforst or yamato uh, the cur the um, how should i say the to playing a tier 10 uh, cruiser are not forgivable one mistakes will cost your ship that's what I'm trying to say and with better rudder and better incoming um, how should I say uh, uh, dispersion value I do believe it's uh, it's uh, a welcome uh, buff okay we have a pleasure to watch CD Bob CD Bob it's playing with gearing and what do you know Shimakaze torpedo our uh, cover off very unfortunately and now oh man this uh, essence captain he is um, he's blind what do you mean Zera you never approach a uh, close Missouri together with uh, uh, how should I say uh, Des Moines 15 planes down and I don't know how many uh, Missouri took down, but I, I would believe that 22 planes down. No planes return! She, this essence, lost all the squads. Every single one of them. I don't think there's one who uh, returned back. I do believe that Missouri uh, and uh, uh, Des Moines took everything down. I know you may say, but Sarah, uh, they have a lot of... Uh, uh, how should I say planes no they won't because uh, this captain won't not uh, shoot down 22 planes in this game alone I engage in Atago very well very well we're still spotted but we are kind of behind we can loop so it's your best friend with the um, Des Moines it find the uh, sweet spots where uh, close to Ireland close to so there you can loop your shells to your enemy you cannot stay too far because you're not gonna hit anything okay there is a uh, maybe i do believe it, that must be a shimakaze bloody shimakaze it is a shimakaze torps and she did a very remarkable co oh, what what uh how should i say <laughs> that was a close we would eat at least one the torpedo drop was very good very very good Whew, that was uh, intense because that could, uh, you know, Shimakaze tops they do uh, close to 20,000 damage, so it's not fun to take one of those. You see what I'm talking about? That's the Shima. Gary, it's maybe engaging the Shimakaze. Missouri is also coming to the smoke. Gearing put a really good looking, uh, I don't believe it's a good combination of cruiser, um, battleship and a destroyer working together because one they can help each other. See we are in the concealment and we are engaging Atago and maybe also the Missouri also engaging Atago. 
and secondaries open up and we put some shells to that Atago and now the Atago I, I can never believe that this Atago did not play there really really smart and Citadel Atago kind of weird Citadel and what do you know our North Carolina nuked the last HP pool what she had and we popped the hydro uh, sorry radar we want to help our gearing friend and now we are spotted the planes are coming man what the hell happened North Carolina killed our uh, Missouri <sighs> and she had pretty good health it, that means that North Carolina's shells I mean someone I don't know what it was but someone really hit this uh, Missouri hard. I mean, real damn hard. I I could almost swear that this uh, Missouri uh, ship had more than half HP pool just a couple seconds ago. So that was just amazing. I don't know what hits her so so hard, so short period of time. Could it be the Minotaur? It could be that. But the one who, who got killed, it must be the North Cow. And our gearing is engaging the Minotaur. I don't know that it must be a very bold move. He's going towards. Oh man, Gary, what the hell are you doing, Gary? Are you charging a Minotaur? That's a bad, bad decision. Seriously, it is a bad decision. What do you know? Man, that cruiser, seriously, guys. I don't know what ship you are. Uh, the only really who can engage her from far distance it's uh, Russian destroyers but if you're that close man Minotaur will wreck you no matter what destroyer you are seriously but now it's about payback because the hard counterpart to Minotaur it's actually um, Moskva and uh, Des Moines why is those two sh uh, ships the uh, Minotaur cannot angle towards the shells of uh, AP shells of uh, uh, Des Moines or Moskva. They are too heavy, it's too punishment. It doesn't matter more or less what kind of uh, uh, angle the Minotaur is. And we have radar in just one second. Now we are uh, radar is available. Okay, we want to make sure that this Minotaur's captain is within a uh, radar range. Just fantastic and yeah that's the AP for you. Bow on she's kind of tanky she's strong you see she has struggled to hit us and do some damage. Okay she kind of did now 2100 damage but we did a whole lot much more than uh, the Minotaur's shells and now both of them they are in concealment nobody can spot because I do believe if I'm not mistaken the uh, detection range by C6 10.6 kilometers that it's really really stealthy ship 10.6 and now I do believe that okay AP it's loaded you're gonna see the power of uh, US heavy shells <gasps> what a hit 7200 I do believe that we, we're gonna finish this North Cow man those AP it's a monster hit I'm talking they are heavy 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 AP hits US hits you what do you know yeah you see how fast we ended this North Cow Yeah, it, it's a DPM monster, that's for damn sure. We're engaging this Minotaur. Okay, use the um, rudder. Really good that we use the um, rudder here. You never know, gonna know. Okay, crap, okay. The, the CV will come for us, for everything she got. I do believe she wants to, to take revenge. And we have AA defense on. How see how, how many planes we're gonna take down? 15 planes so far. Man, none of that hits. What do you know? 18 planes down. 
And that it's a Shimakaze Torps for you? Nothing. Can you believe this thing? Okay, we kind of receive a huge damn hit over here. It's a Minotaur. He's not watching us, this uh, North Carolina. But Minotaur... Uh, huh. Now she is watching. Now she is. And we have using HE. And she received two really good uh, drop, uh, what do you call it? Dive bombers. And she is basically wrecked. What? Uh, come on, she needs to go down. Next salvo, maybe. Oh man, she survived. 272 HE left and she's still aiming at us and close score the secondary killer the, the most ridiculous I, uh, I saw and now it's the Minotaur and we have a ready position fine which you know we know exactly where she is the Minotaur and we have radar in only 55 more seconds but there she is we have AP loaded because we are an AP monster after all Holy macaroni, did you guys see that one single salvo? We nuked her for everything she got. She unfortunately only had 9700 damage. Okay, crap, crap, crap. Oh crap. Man, but she has torps. And we are way behind, we lost, we only have A and poor Taiho, it's behind here. Okay, it's only three ships and uh, we lost everything i mean we lost uh, c d b normally if, if this will a uh, game will go on a little bit uh, more we will gonna lose this game because we will only have a and new orleans is pushing like a madman he wants to strike and kill uh, the cv but um, the cv is not quite alone because we are here the top dog now this New Orleans is full HP, this is the first uh, damage she received the entire game, that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, she basically had no um, no struggle, or no, how should I say, he just went and capped D and B and now he wants to cap uh, A as well, right, to secure the win. Uh, there's two ships aiming at us, it's a New Orleans and Fletcher, I do believe, it's Fletcher. Okay, we receive kind of a, dam a damage here. Uh, right. Put some heal back. That's very good, very good, very good. Pretty good uh, damage. Not a spe something special, but um, our carry is going to strike this uh, New Orleans. Put us on fire. The bugger. You have to aim a little, little bit better. Now I do believe it's Gearing and uh, New Orleans both are engaging us. So it's basically two versus one. We have some little bit help from... Uh, and now it's showing a little bit better. Uh, yes, change fast as hell to AP. AP please. AP please. And punish her New Orleans hard. And I mean real damn hard. And the enemy's team uh, is about to win. Okay, we have fires. Don't put uh, the fires now even though it's two. Okay, we have to change back to H because now she is not the broadside and one more salvo and finish the New Orleans yes sir and now it's Fletcher alone now oh, this was annoying bugger this Fletcher well I'm, I'm not saying he's bad but he kind of has balls to uh, try to engage and shoot uh, Des Moines he's using his rudder but now I do believe that our CV is going for this uh, annoying bugger He can actually put on on fire and we have cooldown on fire in uh, 30 more seconds. Hmm. That was pretty good aim. And finally a good hit, a good hit and put him on fire. He had to uh, d uh, dodge those torps, you know, that's the reason. Maybe this next salvo. But now the aircraft carrier will never let him go. Oh, took his engine down. He will be spotted all time, and that's the reason he also the aircraft carrier has the uh, planes, planes, and we immediately pop the radar. 
I should come a little bit closer before I will use the radar. No, he has time to run away. That does the thing. But maybe it's not bad I either. He will go down before the radar is off because the radar of US are just incredible. And now <laughs> all those torps are spotted. And she only has goodbye Fletcher. Thanks for a good match. She had a good match. That's for damn sure. He he was not a noob. This Fletcher. He really tried hard to um, avoid us, but. When the CV are tracking you all time, then it's just a matter of time before you're going down. And it's re really good teamwork with the aircraft carrier and uh, and so on. And uh, the thing, this this kill was very crucial and important because otherwise we would lose this game. I'm talking about the whole team. So this is very interesting, good work with the CV and. Uh, taking trying to take the enemy one by one now I kind of uh, believe that now essence does have any plane whatsoever how do you know there's there well she doesn't have any planes up uh, she kind of uh, was stupid to engage Missouri and um, yeah our Missouri at the beginning and now she paid the price because she lost I do believe all the planes and just kept this captain alone took down 51 planes 51 planes down and i would like to say thanks guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh, awesome gameplay please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below have a good one bye